Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Where are you? <laughs> you are the Give me a second. Phone. Give me a second. I always have problems with the camera. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, this thing, okay. I don't know. It's 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 crazy. This little this thing. There are moments where it just does whatever it wants. Okay. okay, I'm going to. Oh. All right, let's see if you guys can see me now. More or less? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes. Like I said, it this thing is crazy. It does whatever it wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andres. How are Good you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. So it's Friday. Woo! All right. Are we happy about being Friday? Or it's not? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, because tomorrow I wake up late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I can't wake up late tomorrow, but sad Sunday I will. Well, uh, well, actually, it's funny. I always you say, could, you know, do you know that you can take long weekend long, right? Huh? Long weekend be, due to the Monday Labor Day. No, nope. can't do that. Yes, I know. Yes, but you could. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. Me but... too. I will work. You know, I will be working, but I just won't. I just will be sending emails. So I will take advantage of some stuff uh, back office that, that I need to organize. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have to call to anybody unless that a customer writes and say, call me now, that it will be. It. Right. Um, yeah. In, in my case, I also, um, I'm, it's going to be a slower day. But it's, mm -hmm. still, it's still going to, I'm still going to have work to do, but it's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a slower day because um, mm -hmm. I, I'm, what I'm anticipating is I'll be getting like emergency. Um, ah, okay. Yes. Emergency calls and uh, people that are hospitalized. Oh, cool. Be. Yeah. That's what I'm anticipating. So. What? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but but it's going to be slower. I definitely, I'll uh, I'll have a break in between each call. I'm sure. So, ah, hi. Looking forward to that. I just can't imagine. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to start right away with our attendance. Um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Andres. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Andres. Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Edgar. And uh, Heidi. Heidi. Is Heidi here? No, not here. Okay. All right, what about um, Irvin? Present teacher. All right, excellent. All right, welcome. Thank you. And uh, Irene? Irene? Mm -mm, not Irene? Okay, all right, what about Ivan? Ivan? No, no, Ivan. Okay. Jose Montes. Jose Montes? No? Okay. All right. Uh, Jose Ayala. Okay. All right. Josue? Present teacher. Okay. 
Yum, welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco. Is that Juan Francisco? Okay. All right. Jerry. Jerry here? No, Jerry. Okay. What about Luis? Is Luis here? No. Okay. Uh, Natalia? Natalia? No. Okay. Wow. We're missing a whole bunch of people. Ronald. Ronald? No. Okay. Wendy. Present. All right. Welcome, Wendy. And Warner? Warner? No, not Warner. Okay. And Yvonne? Okay, wow. Is there like another soccer game that I don't know about? <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> my goodness. Maybe uh, Ivan is looking at the repetition. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> what's going on today? Oh. Like, oh my goodness. Um, what happened? I don't know. Is there something that's going on today? I don't know, did you? No? Okay. Yeah, because, um, well, I, I, I'm guessing everybody saw the, the reminder that was sent to you guys in, in our, in our, in our group, right? Um, you know, that we need to be connecting from the beginning until the end. Um, so I don't know what's going on with everybody. Okay, well, we'll have to talk to everybody else uh, when they when they come in because I'm sure that some of them will come later. But you guys, thank you. Thank you very much for connecting on time for the people that did connect on time. I really appreciate that. It shows your commitment and you're going to be benefiting from it. Like you are the ones that are going to benefit. So good for you. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to begin our class. Um, and I need you guys to tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Okay. yes All right. Excellent. Okay. Let me just make this bigger. No me quiero obedecer. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, product test vocabulary. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Okay. Um, so, we're continue talking about the PowerPoint. Sorry, the power, the power, the product testing. Um, you know, and we're going to be looking at more vocabulary Oops, that can help us with that. Okay. Um, so, you know, your teacher is um, Jessica Guerrero. It's an intermediate two. It's class number 12. And um, we're going to start. Okay. So yesterday we were talking about transitions. Okay. Now, um, we talked a little bit about the transitions and let me give you more information about them. So addition transition words. And notice that Transitions are, there are many, 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 many types of trans transitions. But today or these days, we're going to be concentrating on addition transitions. So these are transitions that help us to make like a, an, a another, what should I say? Another, um, hmm, we're going to say like, another idea, let's say, and you're adding another idea, okay? So addition, uh, transition words add important information to the topic discussed, okay? So it's adding information. Now, I told you yesterday that the ones that we saw before, like, were not the only trend, uh, addition transitions, 
And um, these are some ideas of some addition transitions that you can come across, okay? Now, I don't expect you to know all of them, but I'm just giving you some information, okay? So we have additionally or an additional, okay? Furthermore, which is one that you guys already seen. Also, to as well as that, along with, besides, in addition, moreover, which is one that we also saw, not only da 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 da, but also da 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 da. In addition to this, apart from this, further, finally, last, and similarly, as well as coupled with, not to mention, together with, in the same fashion, first, second, third. Okay, so these are some additional transition words that you might see or you might like to use in the future, okay? Any questions about this vocabulary that you guys want to talk about? No, it's all clear? It's all clear. It's, there's no other words that you, you want me to clarify or the pronunciation too. No. No, it's all clear. Am I am? Um, when we use, for example, first, second, third, is uh, the order always uh, after a period because uh, is it starting a new uh, sentence? Yeah, uh, remember what I told you last time. Mm -hmm. These words, all of these words, when they go at the beginning of a new sentence, we mm -hmm. always add a comma. So it'd be mm -hmm. additionally, comma, okay, an additional, comma. First. First, there are more, comma, also, comma, as well as that, comma, along with, uh, besides, second, for example, second, yeah. comma. Yes, yeah, second, comma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any other questions that you guys have? And that's a very good question. Remember, you also can put them in the middle. Okay. I told you last time that that's another possibility to put it, these um, additional uh, transition words in the middle. But if it goes in the middle, then you're going to have to. Um, uh, what's the word? Um, isolate them. That's the word. You're going to have to isolate them by putting a comma before and putting a comma after. Okay? Mm, okay. All right. And there's also another another position where you can put it, and it's that that's at the end of the second idea. But in that case, you would just put a comma before, and that's it. You pop, it would be comma, the, the additional transition word, and then period to finish the idea. But it goes after the second idea, not after the first. Does that make sense? Yes or no? What was the question? Would you please repeat? Okay. Um, how about instead of having a question, let's, uh, okay, I'm going to, just give me a second. Okay. Um, let me, let me write it so you guys can and see what I'm talking about. Okay. So I, yesterday I, I showed you a position that you could use. So um, I could say, 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a very simple idea, okay? Um, for example, um, Mar we don't have any Marias in our class, right? Do we have any Marias in our class? No, right? I don't think, I think so. so. No. All right, so we'll start, we'll, we'll say Maria, okay? Be, just because that, uh, okay. I'm going to talk about Maria. So Maria, Maria is eating a healthy diet to lose, sorry, to lose some, Wait. Um, you can also say, um, in addition to this, she is exercising um, four times a week. Okay, we could do that. Okay, that's that's one one way we can do this the sentence. Okay, so where you have this part here, um, the the transition, uh, the trans the, sorry the uh, transition the additional transition word is at the beginning, so that's one possibility. Um, okay, and and of course we have the comma right here, right? Another possibility is doing this, same sentence. Um, I can't, I'm gonna have to write it again. Maria is eating a healthy diet to lose some weight. She is in addition to this, she is in addition to this exercising, exercising four times a week. Okay, so do you see? There's another possibility right there. Okay, so putting, so there, that's the, another possibility putting the same transition word in the middle, okay? And there is a third way we could do this, which is saying Maria is eating a healthy diet to lose some weight. She is exercising four times a week in addition to this. Yeah, do you see that? So then we have here We have right here the, the the transition word could be either in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Okay. Either way, or whichever better said, whichever way you decide to do it, what is very important is that you keep in mind that we need to use a comma commas exactly to isolate the transition word so if you notice in addition to this comma in addition um so in this one she is comma in addition to this comma and at the end there's also a comma in this case before okay and there is no comma over here because there's a period at the end of the idea okay Maria. How does that sound? Does that, does that, is that pretty clear for you guys or are you confused? Uh, 
Uh, yesterday, I was looking at the usage of uh, uh, moreover, but now I understand that they can be used in different positions. The important is to add the comma after, after the transition word, right? <laughs> Yes, that's one important uh, mm -hmm. difference. The other important difference is that the like you can put it in, in any one of these positions. Mm -hmm. However, it, the the further away from the beginning it is, the less emphatic it is. So this mm -hmm. one's very emphatic. Okay, so this mm -hmm. one is like emphasizing. I'm giving you more information. This one's like, yeah, I'm giving you more information. Not very important. This one's like, not that important because it's at the end. Okay, so the further away, so the farther away it is from the beginning, the less importance we give to the transition. How does that sound? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Teacher, and these transition words, uh, do they, because I see most of them, they add uh, situations, ideas, or add information, or make a conclusion. So they, there are no, let's say, negative transitions. Um, no. Yes. Uh... You're talking like a contrast? Uh-huh. Like um, saying something that, like kind of like the word but? But, but is not part, uh-huh. Because yeah. but is a, a right. giving but, an, an, a different idea, right? Yes, exactly. That's, that's why I'm asking you. Are you talking about that? Are you talking about um, giving it an opposite idea? No, I, I'm asking you if it, it does exist uh, negative transition words. Do they yeah. or they don't? Well, for example, this one is a negative. Which not one? Not only. Uh, That's a negative one. Okay. Actually, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you something about this one. This mm -hmm. one's a special one. Uh, this is a special one. Whenever you start with not only, mm -hmm. we actually... What we do with this one, I mean, you guys don't really need to know this at this point, but we, but you know, you might see it and and it might, um, you know, be a little bit weird. Um, so I'll explain what happens with this one. When you use the not only, what happens is that we have to use the the right here in the middle where it says, you know, you the dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. This part here, we use the form of a question. So instead of after this using a subject and then the verb, we have auxiliary subject verb, just like in the in the form of a question. Mm, okay. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everybody, or are you guys lost? <laughs> lost. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, um, like I said, you really don't need to know this. Like, it's not like, like, um, you know, this is, this is, I'm giving you more information that you guys really need to know at this point. I just want, I just thought it would be good for you guys to know that it exists. Okay. So if at any point I'm just confusing you, one, let me know. And two, just don't pay attention to this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm just going to give you a, a quick example so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to write it here because of space. I don't know anywhere else where to put it. So I'll put it there. OK, so we can say not only um, does she cook very well. But, uh, but also, um, not only did she cover it, but also um, she um, bakes great cakes. Okay, 
So do you see what happens there? So the, the if you notice the transition mm. word is here, not, not only. only, right? And then over here, but also, right, it continues. So what mm. happens is that the part in the middle, right, which is, um, The part that is in the middle, the part over here, the of the dot 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 here, is this part here, right? Not only, and then auxiliary. Yeah. So do you see what happens? We use the auxiliary subject and then the verb. Not only, then subject, verb. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, auxiliary subject verb. But we don't use a comma, right? Yes, we do. Uh, but just, uh, okay, not only does she cook very well, uh, comma, yes. but also. Teacher, and in the, in the sentences above, in the one when we use in the last part of the sentence, the transition word, I'm not able to see if there is a comma or period when it says she's exercising four times a week. And after that, is that a comma or period? In addition to this, in the last example. No, oh, that's a period. Right uh, here. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Uh, after a week, is that a period or a comma? Oh, that's a comma. Ah, OK. OK. Yeah. Uh, a comma. Yeah. I'll make it bigger so you guys can see it. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Is that better? Mm. Can you see the comma? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, so thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and in, in which case, for example, yesterday, uh, also the, 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 the manual shows that when we use moreover, it's perceived by a semicolon. Right, you can, you, you, but that's not just moreover. I could do the same thing here. I could. Exactly, that is why I'm asking you because the one you see at the end. Is so I could just do this. this. I could just do this if you guys want. I can literally do this. Uh, hold on, where's that semicolon? There you go. Mm, so go uh huh. Yeah. When we well, decide to use a, 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 oh, but that is a, um, wasn't a period right there because we are starting a new No, sentence. because a semicolon is used mm -hmm. when you are connecting two ideas that, uh, are, that are similar. Okay. Are, um, so basically the second sentence has a lot to do with the mm -hmm. first sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got it. Okay, now I understand better. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, good. Any questions? Any other questions, guys? Because I, I know, I know, um, Ana Claudia got it. What about the others? <laughs> <laughs> I got it too, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. All right, how about the others? So I have two people from everybody that is that's got it, but I don't know about the others. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's this. Remember that the information that we saw yesterday says using a period and then a capital letter, or using a semicolon and a lowercase letter. It's a matter of style. So if you want to do this, go for it. If you want to do period and capital letter, do that too. It's up to you. Okay, you decide. Mm -hmm. All right. It's it's okay. the same thing as like deciding, should I use uh, moreover? Or should I use additionally? Well, it's up to you, you decide. It's the same idea. Okay. Are you following me on this? Mm. Yes, no? How are you feeling about this? Does this make sense? 
Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So having said that, um, remember this activity, right? Work in pairs, join your assigned breakout room, write a 10, par a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test um, a product, use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. You remember this? This was from yesterday. So you just have to um, talk about the advantages that we have here and the disadvantages, sorry, the disadvantages that we have here and the advantages that we have here. Since you're adding similar ideas, you're going to be using the words that we have over here, any one of those words. Okay? Does that sound so good for everybody? Job? Yes? Okay, just that um, I need help because I don't, I don't remember who was in which group. I didn't take a, I, I didn't take the, the screenshot in Forge I forgot to do that yesterday. So I, I need you guys to help me, okay? So um, I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna ask you guys individually to tell me who you were working with, okay? And Aglada, do you remember who you were working with? Yes, with Warner, but he is not here. With Warner, only with Warner? Right, yes. because you were in pairs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, so in that case, we're not going to assign you just yet. Okay. And Andres, were you here? No, teacher, yesterday I was not here. You were not here. Okay, so how about if Ana Claudia and Andres work together? How does that work? Yes, okay. Yeah? Okay, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. Um, Let's have now Claudia. Claudia, who are you? Where are you working with? I didn't remind yesterday. Edgar, who were you working with? I'm sorry, teacher. Yesterday, my present. Okay. Present class. Okay. Irene, who were you working with yesterday? Sorry, teacher. Yesterday, I couldn't find it. Okay. Ivan. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I was working with Josue. Okay. Josue. Yeah, I was working with Ivan. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Um, Jose Ayala, you were I'm you sorry, here? teacher. I couldn't be here yesterday. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. All right, Jury. I yesterday I was working with uh, Irving. Uh, okay. He isn't here. Yeah, he said that he would be back in 10 minutes. So I'll put you with him when he comes back. Wendy. I work in, I work. I was working. I work. I was working. I was work. I, no, I was working. I was working. Sorry, teacher, with Natalia. I don't know. I don't remember very well. Okay. All right. Uh, what about Sul? Um, Yvonne. I was working with Ronald was not here as well. My goodness. Okay. When? We're going to have to make new groups. <laughs> because otherwise it's not, make... it's not going to work. Make... We can make that activity next week. <laughs> Maybe. 
Um, no, let's um, let's let's yeah, let's move on. Um, los que están están, verdad? So uh, I'm so let's um, let's do this. I'm going to make new groups. So Claudia, I'm gonna work get you to work with Edgar. Okay. 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 All right. Um, and I'm gonna get Irene to work with Jose. Okay. And um, I'm gonna work get uh, Jerry to work with Wendy. Okay. And I'm going to add um, Yvonne to group number one with Ana Claudia and Andres. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, you guys, well, you should be, I mean, I know that you weren't able to finish everything, but um, it should be almost finished. So um, I'm not going to give you too, too much time. How does 10 minutes sound? Well, actually, no, 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 forget it. I just remembered we have new groups, so I'll give you 15 minutes. How does that sound? Do we understand the, do we understand what to do? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Can you explain again, please? Okay, so it says here, we're working in group, in, sorry, in pairs. Join your assigned breakout room write a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test on a product. Okay, so the advantages and disadvantages have been done already right here. We have disadvantages and we have advantages. So it says here, use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages just before, below. So you're, all you're doing here is you're going to be talking about the disadvantages that are right here and the advantages that are right here. And you're going to be adding transition words. That's it. Simple as that. How does that sound? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, so how does 15 minutes sound? Do you think we can do it in 15 minutes? Yes? We tried. Okay, let's open the groups then. Um, I'm gonna open them right now. Oh, yeah. A 10 live paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implement a focus group as a problem. Okay. Use the transition of, a, of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. That's it. Okay, and we we going to discuss about advantages, about a focus group focus group, but uh, for us, I, I think that we need to, 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 
to know what is the means about focus group. Do you know? Uh, I have a um, one idea, but uh, the real meanings of the focus group, I don't have it. But uh, let me surf, uh, make a research for it. And oh, just one moment, I'm looking for it. Um, I, I think, uh, um, I, have... I think an idea. I think that focus group is a focus group test about the product mm -hmm. is um, proofs, proofs in some specific customer specific. about a specific customer. A focus on on um, like marketing is oh. focus on a specific group of mm -hmm. custom consumers and with different kind of strategies that we were discussing in a last a last class, for example, in like um different tests, use this and I have a definition if you have if you want to know I have a definition of a focus group the definition of the focus group is is the next uh, say a focus group is a, a, a small set of six to ten people who usually share common characteristics such as age, background, geography, etc. The set comes together to discuss a predetermined topic. A focus group is a part of marketing research technique. So while well, the teacher was explaining what we're gonna do, because like I wasn't here yesterday, I was making a, a little paragraph. So I began like focus group is one of the best, uh, one of the best tactic for marketing. Okay, I, I agree with you. Uh, -huh. uh, uh advantages about this this concept what 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 kind of will we we will search for example one of them it can be uh, it's um You have an opinion about the con the customers and of the real opinion of the consumers, and you have a um, high percentage for for your product to going to be success or or in the, in the sales, for example. Uh -huh. I don't know, but do you okay. think? Okay. okay, I was creating a, a, a paragraph. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want, I can read it for you. Uh, okay. I can read it for you. And if you, if you we want, can continue. If you want. Um... Yeah. Last one is the other one. No. Hi, guys. Do you have any questions? For the moment, no, no, no. Okay. La, 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 you have to choose a group. So, um, 
Uh, you have to choose a group for for this course for what for this course discuss for this course is correct no for discuss no it's it's to discuss it's not to discuss okay mm -hmm. to discuss uh, mm -hmm. Uh, to discuss to discuss and collect the result. Edgar, you are agree? Uh, for example, uh, okay. so do you guys have any questions well, uh, you want well. to ask before I go? Sure. Do you have any questions that, that you want me uh, you, that you want to ask before I go? You want to ask me anything? No. Yeah, uh, for example, uh, or oh, we can use another one. I guess it's not commonly. Hola, teacher. Las captura. Sí, sí, tengo captura. Commonly is a transition word. No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, sh uh, the other ones, the one I took, uh, ah, pero, I got them in the computer, not in the cell phone. Let me try to, ah, Edgar las puso en, en el chat. En WhatsApp, mm -hmm. pero vos no las puedes ver porque estás, mm -hmm. estás compartiendo. Oh, in addition. In sí. addition, when discussing something in a focus group, there is a little bit to the topic. Mm. Let's use first. First, when discussing something oh. in a focus group, there's a little depth to the topic. We can use... Uh, mm, instead of using second and third, or... Do you guys have any questions before I leave? Anything you can help me with? No, teacher, I don't think so, right? Andres and Yvonne? No, teacher. No, no, no thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, there are words like... Uh, Um, How are you doing? The second advantage. Okay. Hi guys. How are you doing? We are creating a paragraph. Okay. How are you and and how are you doing with that? Do you have Do you need any help? Yeah, we need the the ten paragraph. <laughs> 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 sure, why not? Algo difícil comenzar así en seco con estos. En seco. O sea, encontrarle sentido a la al, al párrafo. Para, para, what you're doing. Párrafo. Okay, so what you're doing is 
you are creating sentences that are connected to each other using the advantages and disadvantages that we have already there. So you have sentences with advantages, you're going to connect the, the ideas together, and the other sentences of the disadvantages that you're also going to connect together. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Teacher, but it's, I think it's a little bit difficult because we have three advantages, specific advantages, and three specific uh, disadvantages and create a conversation. Uh, no, 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 not conversation, not conversation. It's a no, it's not conversation. It's a paragraph, but using um, three, the three advantages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. You're right about that. But um, but it's a good challenge. You, you guys, um, the idea is to learn how to write more and you guys will be okay. But do you need any help? Anything that I can help you, something specific I can help you with? Um, no. No, you sure? Yeah, we're gonna try to, to resolve this puzzle, the jigsaw. <laughs> the jigsaw. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, anything, else, anything you wanna ask me before I leave? No, teacher, we appreciate your help. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go and say hi to the other groups. Okay. Thanks. Mm, la cosa es, Ivan, que mm, los diez párrafos, los diez, o sea. Add, add next to needs, needs comma into change to win back it out. Okay, it's okay. Hi guys. It's okay. Do you need any help? Okay. Teacher, uh, can you see or or all the chat that we have there? No. No. We create some sentences, uh, Erwin and me, and Erwin, Wendy and me create some sentences. I am going to send, send you a, a sentence that Erwin Yeah, the thing wrote. is that, the thing is that one time, like, I can only see whatever uh, is after I join. So if whatever you put before I joined, can't see that. I grow recently. Can you see now? What do you want to put the script in? Yes. I don't know if we are in correct way or we must to change a direction. Yeah, you're doing fine. It's, it's okay, teacher. Yeah, you're, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. excellent. Thank okay. you, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank okay. you. For yeah. me, it's okay, you your your sentence. It's okay for me. It's okay. excellent. It's excellent. Nah. Is it not okay. enough? It's very okay to just let the audience up with audience. In original, we need to more characteristic. Okay, okay. When you go to the coffee group, in original, we need to now buy your opinion for it. Okay. okay. And now let's go to let go to see the uh, the advantage that when these grow there. Yeah, okay. He helped to detect why the product is no longer popular in that we need to change in in change to win back its audience. Teacher, uh, the the transition words uh, we need to use between two sentences, right? Or we can put on that the end or the beginning of the sentence. It has to be at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, you know, the but it can't be at the it can't be in the first sentence. That's that's for sure. 
Okay, we can add at the end or uh, middle of the sentence. But at okay. the second one. Okay, the second joint, the first when, we, when we want to join two sentences. Okay. When they are uh, talking about the same, the same yeah. idea, extending the, the idea. Extending the object, okay? Mm -hmm. Extending the object. Okay. But the product is no longer. Let me see. I got to right here. Mm. They go to change to uh, like a question. Yeah. Why? Why the product is no longer popular? Product is no longer popular. Um, in addition. We need we need change. Mm. No longer change. How many minutes that we have, teacher? Um two hours? I thought yeah, that. approximately. Really? Oh, okay, excellent. We have, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are you guys ready or do you need more time? time? Oh, teacher, we need more time. You need more time. How much yeah. time do you need? Let's put it that way. Maybe I don't know, but we are it's really confused that part of the sentence, but we need more time, but I decide okay. you can decide okay. how many minutes that we we need to. Okay, but how much time do you realistically think you're gonna need? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. All right, I'll say I don't I can't promise you that I'll give you 10 minutes, but I will go and check with the other groups to see if they also need approximately at the same time. Okay. okay. Okay, right. thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Um, how are you doing with this? Are we almost ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. I think so. Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I like that, that confidence. Okay. Um, okay, so you are, are ready to present, no problem? Yeah? No problem, teacher. All right, no I'll go how the other groups are doing, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Are we almost ready or do you need more time? We need... Or more Ten or twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes. Oh my. <laughs> um, ten minutes. Could be. Could be. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I can give you ten minutes, but that's like max. Okay. All right. So I'll give you guys ten minutes. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to go and see the other groups. Hi guys, how are you doing? Are we almost finished? Do you need more time? We need more time. You need more time. How much time do you need? 
Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. back to back. Okay. And I I think we have enough disadvantages. I don't know. What do you think? Hi guys, how are you doing? How are you, teacher? I guess as we almost ending. Okay. Um, so how much more time do you need? I guess that we don't need more time, teacher. <laughs> you don't need more time? No, I guess that we we finish the the exercise. Oh, okay. Standing. Huh? Hmm? I heard something like Google. Yes, my Google. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so late. <laughs> that be embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Um. So you guys are ready then, right? Yes, teacher. I guess that we are ready to explain some information. Okay. Any questions that I can answer? Um. Maybe just one question, teacher. We can use otherwise, like um, like uh. How we can use in transition work? Otherwise? Yeah. 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 But but that's not um that is not an additional transition word. You can use it, but it's not an additional uh, transition word. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay. Yeah, so that's what's possible. But remember what I told you, there are many, 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 many transitions. And what we are focusing on right now are transitions of addition. Okay? Okay, teacher. Um, do you want to review or, or a paragraph? Sorry? Do you want to review our paragraph? Sure, let's do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see my, my screen. No. No. Uh, well, I'm 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 seeing someone's screen, but I don't know whose it is. Hold on. Okay, it's my screen. Your screen. I have one um, yeah. sticking up. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, just that right now you are. What I'm seeing is Google. Mm -hmm. oh, really? Yeah, we're seeing Google. Do you see my my stick now? Um, not right now. Tell me one more. Okay. Now. Oh. Now, yeah, yeah, we can see it now. Okay. Good. Do we just have to, we have to be careful with the punctuation here. Remember, like basically the way you have structured it, it's like everything is one sentence. So you, you've got to make sure you put a period where the period, where, where the first idea finishes and put a, a um, and, and put, or put a semicolon too, that's also valid. And then after that, you have to um, put the, the transition word in a comma. Um,
So remember, periods, not ca not ca not commas. Periods. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Period. And how to stop you? What are the advantages I hear customer feel like? And they're all words and voices. Basically, the you got to think about what are the, the, the complete ideas, put a period there. I would say probably put periods and not uh, semicolons because otherwise you're going to get all confused. So I would just say put periods. And then the new idea starts with, uh, with a capital letter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, teacher. Okay. Okay. So, so orchestra is one of the best tactics for marketing that we have. I'll Maybe. give you guys two more minutes. While you, in those two minutes, go over it, and also Irene help him out to figure out where to put the periods. And the next, the next idea has to go with a capital letter. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So work on that for the next two minutes, okay? Okay. Perfect, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Jose, I don't... Yes, really? this, uh, South Demont, how do you open? Okay, uh, how are you doing right now? Uh, we, we are in process. But uh, how many time that we have? I uh, maybe like we don't have one minute. One minute. Oh, yes. Excellent. That is necessary to create just one sentence that we need. <laughs> I like that attitude. Good. We are on time. Yeah. So don't worry. Right. Everything is in control. <laughs> I like that. Judy, where do you where? In this moment, give me a chance. Yes. I'm looking for it because I don't know where is it. That, that thing. Okay, yeah, let's go to see. I'm going to create the last one. And the last one is not permitted to copy. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Solo nos faltaría una para que nos toque dos líneas cada uno. Yo voy a decir la de la que ahorita estoy queriendo hacer. Voy a hacer, voy a, voy a hacer la de we work and uh, there is no enough stereotype. Esa voy a decir yo. Wendy diría la de the, the product is no longer popular. In addition, we need change some characteristic. Ah, y Wendy podría decir la otra de sales y yo voy a hacer la otra que nos falta acá para que tengamos okay. dos y dos y me faltaría la rel relativa que es la que disadvantage que vamos a hacer ahorita voy a hacer ahorita a ver si me queda tiempo si no solo uno voy a hacer ah, pues ya estamos listos ¿no? Is a key the ventaja or advantage? Ah, the ventaja. The new product is relative expensive, inexpensive. Vamos a ver, furthermore, furthermore, ¿cómo se llama? Furthermore es como adicionalmente, además, ¿verdad? Furthermore. Creo que como se crea en la de Iré con el cabeza de insecto. Chicos. Además es más more. Me faltaría, pero debo saber el escudo del capitán y mi trasero. Esto es una vida. 
además, además, además es, pero ¿cómo era la estructura? Eh, furthermore, you just need to put a comma, right, yes. teacher? That is correct. Comma to separate the fir first idea with the second idea. The new product, the new product is relatively and expensive. Furthermore, um, is good presentation. Okay. I have the last one. Okay, Google share the, the, the information. I can do it. Uh, I, I send uh, the, the, the sentences that we are going to, to say, but I am, go, I, am I, I am doing Okay, guys, so I've given you plenty of time and I hope you guys will be able to do this, okay? Because I, I have given you plenty of time. So before we do this, let's check the attendance, okay? So give me a moment. All right, you know what to do, Claudia, Anna Claudia. Present teacher, but for, for quality of, of the of the record, you must say my name. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're absolutely right about that. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go. All right, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Excellent. Claudia. Present teacher. Irvin. Present teacher. Yeah. Great. Heidi. Heidi. Irene. Present teacher. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Right. Uh, Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present. Okay. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. Jury. Present teacher. Okay. Luis. Uh, Natalia. Ronald, Wendy, present, Warner, present teacher, and Yvonne, present. Good, thank teacher. you. Bye. Um, teacher, teacher, me? No, no, dije, no, no, dije. no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Edgar. Present. Good, thank you. Okay. Okay, eh, chicos, voy a solamente um, cambiarme el español por un momentito. Solo porque, um, bueno, creo que la mayoría, si no todos, vieron el mensaje que se les mandó hoy por la tarde, ¿verdad? Que de hecho no fue, no fue yo que se lo mandé, sino que fue la administración, ¿verdad? Razón por qué ellos se lo mandaron, 
eh, porque pues yo, de hecho yo, para mí fue una sorpresa, porque yo no, no esperaba, pero la razón es porque ellos todos los días, eh, o sea, me dicho, ajá, si todos los días ellos revisan la asistencia el día siguiente de la clase, o sea, hoy tenemos la clase, bueno, ajá, creo que, bueno, incluso yo creo que sí, mañana, mañana van y revisan. Entonces, hoy tenemos la clase y mañana como yo tomo asistencia, pero ese, esa asistencia que yo tomo no es solo para mí, no es algo personal, sino que es un documento que lo compartimos y entonces ellos llevan récord de, to, de, de, de todos, ¿verdad? De, de cuántos se están conectando y cuántos minutos y así por el estilo. Um, ayer... Tuvimos, patimos récord, la verdad, de todo, ¿verdad? Eh, para los que sí estuvieron acá, ¿verdad? Eh, pues les agradezco. Pero sí <risa> hubieron muchas, muchas ausencias, diferentes razones. Ustedes um, sabrán por qué, por qué pasó, ¿verdad? Cada uno de, de ustedes sabrá qué es lo que les pasó, <risa> ¿verdad? Pero... Eh, pero sí hubo una, una, una ausencia muy notable, ¿verdad? Solo habíamos la mitad de la clase. Eh, pues, pues la verdad que ah, menos mal el día de hoy tenemos un poquito más, pero aún así tenemos también varias faltas, eh, o sea, varias, varias ausencias. Y también el día de hoy lo que pude notar es que hubieron muchas personas que se conectaron ya tardecito. ¿Verdad? Yo entiendo que eso pasa, ¿Verdad? Y, y nos pasa a todos, de repente algo nos pasa, ¿Verdad? Y no podemos conectarnos a tiempo. Pero acuérdense que uh, lo que hablábamos el primer día de clase, que es de que no solamente se está viendo que usted diga present, ¿Verdad? A la hora que, que, que le toca, sino que también que están conectados los 120 minutos, o sea, de principio a fin. Entonces, se les, eh, se les lleva un récord literalmente de cuántos minutos están conectados todos los días. O sea, el récord que yo, o sea, yo ahorita lo estoy viendo para decirle, yo, yo no lo, yo no lo, o sea, yo no tomo el récord, pero se les toma el récord, o sea, la administración le toma la, el récord de cuántos minutos están conectados, porque ellos sí son los que reciben esa información. Y entonces ya lo comparten ya en el documento que, que, que todos podemos ver. Eh, yo la comparten y entonces yo puedo ver cuántos minutos han estado conectados cada uno de ustedes. Entonces, um, les hago saber esto, chicos, porque, um, pues, como les decía, yo entiendo que de repente nos pasan cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, cosas que están fuera de su alcance, ¿verdad? Y, y es comprensible, pero que no se nos convierta en un hábito, ¿verdad? Para que, pues, podamos llegar a los 80, eh, el 80% de la clase, ¿verdad? Que es necesario. Eh, incluso si en algún momento ustedes, algunos de ustedes quieren saber cuánto porcentaje ustedes llevan, yo con gusto se los puedo compartir. O sea, eh, lo mejor sería que, que me escribieran privadamente y yo les comparto, ya sea por Zoom o por WhatsApp, pero yo les comparto la información para que ustedes lleven una, un registro eh, personal. Pero sí es importante que ustedes se traten conectar temprano, ¿verdad? Para que, para que pues, sí, no, no haya ese inconveniente. Claro, entendemos que de repente van a pasar cosas y no se van a poder conectar a tiempo. Pero que eso sea así como de vez en cuando, ¿verdad? Pero que por lo general estén ustedes conectados desde el principio, ¿ok? No sé si alguien ahorita... ¿Tiene algún inconveniente para eso que quisiera expresarlo? O lo puede ser también por, por chat privado, ¿verdad? Ya sea por Zoom o, o por WhatsApp, como ustedes prefieran. Um, pero no sé si hay alguien que quiera hacer algún comentario al respecto. Uh 
¿No? Ok. Va, entonces solamente... ¿Sí? Silencio sepulcral. <risa> ¿Cómo fue, Jerry? No, que nadie le responde. Silencio sepulcral. Le digo. <risa> Cabal. Um, bueno, entonces, eh, sí, bueno, ustedes, como les digo, cada, cada uno de ustedes sabrán cuál es la situación que llevan, ¿verdad? Pero sí les pedimos de favor que se conecten temprano, que estén, um, ¿verdad? Toda la clase. Yo entiendo que de repente que perdemos conexión del internet, ¿verdad? A mí me ha pasado, ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Y eso pasa especialmente en este, eh, con este clima. Menos mal estos días que no ha estado lloviendo, ¿verdad? Así que eso ha, ha jugado a nuestro favor. Pero sí, eh, sí llevamos a varios, varios que tienen ausencias. Y de ser así, pues no podríamos completar los 80% si siguen así. Y eso significaría que no podrían continuar. Y no queremos llegar a eso, ¿verdad? Por eso estamos aquí para apoyarles en lo que se puede. ¿Ok? Así que si ustedes, alguno de ustedes tenga una situación especial, por favor, um, pónganme en chat privado. Yo les puedo contestar y, y ver en qué les puedo ayudar. ¿Ok? Bueno. Ok, habiendo dicho eso, it's time for our presentations. Ok, so let's um, start with that. Um, start with room number one, which is Ana Claudia, Andrés, and Yvonne. Ok, so you guys can start and present however you want. If you guys want to just have one secretary presenting everything, or you want to divide it and give information to each one of you, that's fine too. Okay. Yes, uh, Ivonne and Andres are going to present to you. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, Ivonne, I guess. Yeah, well, well, I don't know if Andres, uh, do you want to start with advantages? Okay. Uh, talking about advantages, they are relatively inexpensive. Also, a variety of opinions, and in addition, accurate and unbiased opinions. Right one. That's all? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now my turn. Uh, I want to uh, present the disadvantages. Um, first, compared to individual interviews, focus groups are not as efficiency in terms of coverage of a particular topic. Besides, when discussing something in a focus group, there is a little depth to the topic. Also, it is more expensive than conducting a survey why each member has to be compensated. And finally, there is a possibility that people do not express their opinion honestly. And that's all. Okay, very good, bravo. Excellent. Okay, just, um, I have a question for you guys, for everybody. How do you, how do you pronounce that? Focus group. Focus, focus group. Focus group. Okay, so I said focus group. Focus. Focus. Okay, so we pronounce it. Focus. 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 Not cause. Cause. Focus. 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 Focus.
Focus. Yo, y todos nosotros, Focus. <ríe> Hasta con Focus. 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 Okay, great, excellent. All right, excellent. Very, very good, guys. Let's move on to the next group is number two, Ivan, Josue, and Warner. So quickly, um, we choose uh, one advantage and a one, one disadvantage. I go first. And one advantage of focus group is that they are relatively inexpensive. In addition to that, you can do them in anywhere. A disadvantage of focus, focus groups is that there are not enough stereotypes in a select audience. And it is necessary to create, uh, moreover, it's necessary to create a moderator in the group. Next partner. Well, Besides another disadvantage about implementing a focus group for testing a product is not considering that the participants are part of the target language, but by contrast with the advantage of having a variety of opinion because we selected what kind of people will be a part of our project. Next. Okay, is in advantage. Um, accuracy and the in impartial opinion because we we must know the habit, the use, the customers. Moreover, it allows you to understand that the customer really wants and this bench on uh, some. Uh, some people may uh, you dis discard this idea the public offer to so quickly in audition of not analyze correctly. Analysis. Okay, so that's that it? Yes, finish it. Yeah. Okay, perfect, excellent, very good. Very good guys, excellent. Um, just give me one minute. Just wanna make sure about something. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, so this word, What, how do you pronounce this word? Everyone. No. Uh, unbiased. Unbiased. Very good. Andres um, found it for us. <laughs> yes. Unbiased. Un unbiased. Un un I'm biased. Bias. I'm biased. That's right. And what does it mean? What is unbiased? Impartial. Yes. Another word for it, our synonym is impartial. Impartial. And we grab it the same as in Spanish. Ah, no, no, with T. With T. In partial. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and which word is more common to use? Um, the thing is that unbiased, um, it's 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 usually used more like in riot. Mm. It's more writing. I would say we're writing. Mm -hmm. 
it's more in in academic writing we would say um unbiased impartial that too but but um it just sounds a little more academic to say i'm biased does that make sense okay yes teacher thanks mm -hmm. any other questions that you guys have <laughs> No, no questions. Okay, all right, perfect. Let's move on to the next group. Now, group number three now, Claudia and Edgar. Well, for implement a focal, focus group, first you have to select the probe that you need tested. Last, you have to choose a group for this course and collect the result. Apart for this, we must take into account accurate and unbiased with the opinion. Moreover, an advantage of, of implement a focus group are relative inexpensive. Also, implement a focus group, you can find some disadvantage with the participants. For example, dominant personality in the group, additional not considering that the participants are part of the tar target language can be false result. And finally, the stereotypes in the select audience can do that the product test in the focus group false. Only that. Okay, so it's finished. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Thank you. Very good. Excellent, guys. Okay. Uh, how about this word? How do you pronounce this word? Stereotype. Stereotype. Do you all agree? Stereotype. Stereotype. Okay, yes. It's stereotype. Stereotype. Okay. And make sure that we say stereo, not a stereo. It's stereo. Okay. All right, very good. Let's continue with Irene and Jose Ayala. Irene and Jose Ayala. Sorry, teacher, I was speaking and <laughs> okay. There is okay. Focus group is one of the best tactics for marketing that we have to talk about new products. Besides, we can evaluate a lot of a lot of advantages like hear customer feedback in their own words and voice. Furthermore, uncover ideas and issues that initially may not have been considered. In addition, discover the decision-making process. Okay. Otherwise, the disadvantages that the focus group ha have are participants can voice their opinion freely also might not be a true representation of your target group. That's all. Did you cover all the advantages and disadvantages? Yes, I was talking about disadvantages. Uh -huh. Okay, so all you, you, you talked about all of them, right? The, all three? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. All right, excellent, bravo, very good, excellent. Okay, and the last group was um, Irvin, Jerry, and Wendy. Okay, uh, I'm going to begin the 
the focus group is relative and expensive and addition it has a good results. There is no enough stereotype stereotype in the select audience. In addition, we need to include more characteristic. Uh, the, the product is no longer popular. In addition, we need to change some characteristic more att attractive to customers. Uh, sales this month, sales this month have dropped. This month, we don't have any products either, and we haven't tested with customer. So, and we haven't, what did you say? Tested with customer. Oh, with customer, okay. All right, very good, very good, excellent. All right, excellent guys, very good. Okay, let me got, give you one of these. Okay, this is for the whole class, woo! Okay, very good. And the reason is because all of you did a very good job. You guys um, seem to have gotten the idea of the, the transition, so excellent, good for you. Any questions that you guys have before we continue? For me, not teacher. Sure. You sure? So they're all clear? Yeah? Okay. All right, good. Because we're going to continue with the next part. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes, teacher. Is it come? Yes. No, you guys. Can you see all of it? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you can see yes, all of it. All right, good. Okay. So, um, can you see this? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do here, we have this vocabulary that is related to uh, target groups or, or yeah, or focus groups. So we have targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. I want you to, we're gonna get you guys to work in groups, small groups, and we're going to um, get you to investigate what is the meaning of each one of these words. Some of them shouldn't be that difficult because, you know, we've already talked of them, you know, but others of you, uh, others of them, you might need to, um, um, to go and investigate a little bit, okay? So um, I'm going to make um, groups uh, of three and four, okay? And we're gonna give you, about, let's see, 10 minutes. Let's give you guys 10 minutes to figure out this, okay? So um, if, you, if you don't understand a word, you know, look it up on the internet, Google it, whatever you wanna do, okay? And the idea is to get the four definitions, okay? So let's, uh, do we understand what to do? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, let's yes. open the groups then. The target sampling. 
the target these the, sample. These are the customer that you have to sell. The, yes, the, but the, the segment, the, 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 the same of the cost, the same of the, the public that you can sell. Okay, the real definition, according with the Wikipedia, <laughs> <laughs> says it's a purposeful systematic method by which controlled list of specified populations within geographical districts uh, districts are developed and the and detailed plans are designed to recruit adequate numbers of cases within yeah that, that's it within each of the target okay this is great but i need you guys to put it hello okay what what the the definition is great perfect but I need you guys to put it in your own words. You know, okay, okay. That that doesn't really make sense. Like if somebody, if you're just gonna read that one, they're gonna go, what? They're gonna be lost. So <laughs> put it in simple terms. In okay. 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 <laughs> So sample the uh, targeting target sample is a part of the sampling technique in which each sample has a equal probability of being chosen. Ahorita se lo pongo. Okay, um, guys, try to. Put it in your own words so that it's not so complicated. Because if you put okay. it so complicated, you won't understand, right? So put it in your own words, okay? A simpler version. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, now we have competitive treat. Compared it to a definition. Teacher, what is each a a h each each sample? It's it's like talking about a, like every, but like an, an individual, like in Spanish. No, no, no. Um, within teacher. Sorry. I will write it in the chat. Um, we, let's see. Oh, within. Within, within, uh -huh. within means um, like inside of. Mm. Like dentro de. Without the sin. Uh -huh. It's sin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions so far? Mm, not for now. No? Okay. 
like I said, try to make it as simple as possible. So you guys don't get so complicated and, and then you won't understand anything. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Hi teacher. Are you guys finished? Any questions? No. Happy na ba mo yung teacher? Teacher, I guess that we are talking about the sample. Uh, we are selecting a a specific group of the population, and the random sample. We are going to find aleatory random random the random. element that random the element that is mm -hmm. going to be the how do you say muestra the sample <laughs> <laughs> okay hoy nos falta entonces el random competitive sample. random y el competitive three Yo ya copié esa, por si la vas a querer cambiar. Irene. Eh. Okay, just wanted to mention that I would like you guys to um, do it as simple as possible. So some of them have very complicated vocabulary. I don't want that because um, if we do that, then you won't understand. Okay, so just mm. write, write the, the definition as in your own words so that it's as clear as possible for you. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yes, mm -hmm. that is what we're trying to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, based on what random dijiste, Yuri, is... A random the sample, sample is, 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 is random. <laughs> el nombre mismo lo dice. Sí, el nombre mismo lo dice. Uh -huh. And I don't know if we want need to do competitive. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, fine, sorry. Uh, okay. Searching for the definition, uh, just one definition left. Okay, okay, good. Just, I just wanted to mention something. I need you guys to try to um, do the definitions with your own words. Don't, don't do it like complicated definitions. Try to put it with your own words. Do you have any questions that you want to ask? 
Um, Um, and the okay. and definition the um, bias of uh, showing not prejudice for or against sometimes impartial. Sorry, could you repeat that? On um, bias, showing not pre prejudice. 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 Prejudice, mm -hmm. prejudice for or against something impartial. Okay, good. You guys almost ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. You guys need more time? Um, uh, a few minutes more. How much more? Two minutes? Two minutes? Five minutes, please. Okay, fine, that's fine. I'll give you guys five. Um, three minutes. Okay. We can say unbiased like Porches influencer. No, I think the influencer for some of the first I find Yeah, have you seen it? Okay, we almost finished. But I think I'm not sure. Are you there? <laughs> I think I'm not sure. <laughs> In, 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 in marketing in Spanish, we don't choose a good word. Mm. In Spanish, we don't choose a good word. In Spanish, we don't choose a good word. Oh. We, I guess that we are ready. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Um, so how are you guys doing? Are you almost ready? Yes, teacher, almost. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Well, serían como que dice, it's basically we are talking about <laughs> what are we going to do and the random and the. Uh -huh. We the, choose if we want to get uh, make the competitive three with a target or with a random. That's okay. right. Um, so are you, are you guys finished? You ready? Yes, no? the most important is we understand now <laughs> what we're talking about. All right. Can you. Uh, can you show us the, again the all the uh, all all part of the definition, please? This one. Yeah, no. uh, up, please. A little bit. A little bit up. Do you want? Do you want that she scroll down? Uh huh. Ah, okay. The competition. The potential for new firms to compete for your customers. This improves startups and established firms that may, ex may expand into your market. New, new, new companies in your market. Mm -hmm. New products, improvements 
to the products and services of competitors. For example, high speed chain company that launches suffer faster, easier to operate and more efficient models. Irene, and, and what I understand is depending on what you want to find out, for example, the competitive threat can be only based on new products. Or I don't know if it must be including all of those. I think, I think including all of them, for example, uh, if you have a, a product, for example, an mm. oil, oil for cook, and mm. you have different treats, new competition, new products, new brands. Ah, that's my point. That all food, of these apply. Prices. Yes, mm. I think, I think, I, I understand that it can cover all these all these. ah okay okay so you guys are ready right yes the most important we understand why we're talking about yes. all right so i'll see you guys in the main room then okay 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 uh Present teacher. <laughs> Ana Claudia. Present. Okay. Andres. <laughs> Present. Hey. And he's on the <laughs> records. Beauty. <laughs> la, la teacher la te está viendo, Iván. Por eso ya no seguí, ¿por qué? <laughs> Ligue por pensar. Eh, varios puntos <laughs> le va a bajar en la... Sí. <laughs> Como, como no asistencia, como no asistencia, le va a tomar la ticha. I am adding points. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Urban. Present teacher. Heidi. Ivan. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Montes. No. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Okay. Josué. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Jerry. Present teacher. Luis. Natalia. Ronald. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. And Yvonne. Present. All right. Thank you guys. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do then is uh, you guys already, I, I asked you guys if you had finished and I think the majority have. So we're going to be sharing our definitions next class, which was going, which is gonna be on Monday. Um, and we'll do an activity with that vocabulary, okay? So um, in the meantime, I'm, I have taken um, note of your, of your groups. Well, actually, no, you actually, I don't need, I don't need the groups anymore. I, I just remembered. Um, but anyway, so you, you, I do need to, we're going to be sharing the, the, the vocabulary. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Remember, work on the platform. Don't leave it to the last minute um, because this time we will have to finish um, unit two. And um, I'm going to be uploading some um, questions for the, for the, what's it called, the forum, okay? So you guys can um, also- Discussion. On the discussion, yeah, the discussion forum. So you guys can work on that this weekend, okay? And that's gonna be all for today. Um, I, today, 
the, uh, it was uh, Juan, um, Juan Francisco's turn, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the yeah, for, for the one-on-one -on -one session. But because he's not here today, I don't know if anybody wants to take his place and have a one-on-one -on -one session, ask any questions. No? Okay. All right, in that case, guys, that's it. I will see you guys Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Thank you, the same to you. Good night. Good night. Good night.